How y'all doing out there, man? Once again, it's Easy Work Boxing. I'm back, man. I got to talk about these pay-per-view numbers with Tank. Yeah, we got, we, yeah, y'all yeah, don't want to talk about that, but we finna go in now. We finna go in, and I just made a video where I said thank you, Tank, for the for the uh, Ryan Garcia fight. Thank you. I appreciate that. But we're going to talk about these pay-per-view numbers. Now, use the same person. Some people talking about Terrence Crawford. Some about some his pay-per-view, and he fighting a, a sparring partner, and this, that, and the other. Terrence Crawford sold a hundred some thousand dollars, a uh, hundred some thousand pay per views. Tank sold between fifty thousand and sixty one thousand, from what I'm seeing from people in pay per view numbers. Now I hear a lot of y'all out here screaming, "Tank is Tank is the face of boxing. Tank is the face of boxing." No tank ain't. No tank ain't. See, people are getting it twisted. And that's the problem of today. People are more motivated by pay-per-view numbers to make people legitimate fighters in the world of boxing today. And when pay-per-view numbers don't really mean anything because the numbers aren't what they used to be. 300,000 is not really pay-per-view numbers. 200,000 is not pay-per-view numbers. Mr. Canelo Alvarez is still the king of pay-per-view right now, y'all. All right? Mr. Canelo Alvarez did 800000 with Caleb Plant. So that means until somebody in this era breaks that 800000 then Canelo Alvarez is still the face of boxing. Now, does this mean that Tank is not a well-known name in boxing? No, it does not because his pay-per-view knows it's not. And I know some people are going to sit up and say, well, Terrence's pay-per-view was $40. It should be. Everybody's pay-per-view should be $40. Especially the one y'all just went and paid for for that undercard, that weak ass undercard y'all just paid for with Tank. Let me tell y'all something, you casual something. Because a lot of y'all was screaming, this is a great card. Y'all don't know nothing about boxing. A great card is when you see the headliner has a challenging fight, the next fight is a challenging fight, not three stars fighting three nobodies. And I don't mean that for Hector Luis Garcia because he established himself fighter of the year being Chris Colbert then winning him a title. But the rest of that resume, which I don't knock the fighters, y'all know Demetrius Andrade, Boots, all that, that's not a great card. Okay? And that's probably why it didn't sell that much because people who are real deal boxing fans said, I'm not paying 80 to $100 to watch y'all fight a bunch of sparring partners. Because that's what that whole card was. So, back to Terrence Crawford. So, if Terrence Crawford, the guy that y'all say don't sell nothing, outsold Tank, that means that what? Since y'all love to talk about money and so much and pay-per-view status and this and that, so that means that Javon, I mean, Terrence Crawford is above Tank when it comes to pay-per-views, correct? Am I right? That means more people are willing to pay for Terrence Crawford fights than Trevante Tank Davis fights. But Tank's is supposed to be the superstar of boxing, right? Doing 50,000, 61,000 from what people are saying. So y'all need to go back and think a little bit. I keep telling y'all about household names, and then I keep telling y'all about superstars. Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence. Uh, Javante Tank Davis are superstars in boxing. Mike Tyson, Holyfield, George Foreman, Muhammad Ali, Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao, household names, meaning your grandmother knows these people and she don't even watch boxing. Your little cousin who, 14, who don't watch boxing. If you ask them, y'all yeah, know them names. Household names. Tank is a superstar in boxing, y'all. Take nothing away from a hell of a fighter. But when you go out here and you criticize everybody else about their pay-per-view numbers and say they fighting sparring matches, and then you go give us a whole entire card with sparring matches, that's why it didn't sell, y'all. That was not a good card. We had superstar boxers, known boxers fighting a list of nobodies. And I'm not saying, I'm not criticizing these men calling them nobodies like that, but y'all mean... You know what I'm saying? These are not known valued opponents for these guys to be facing on the undercard like that. 
So I just want to come out here and make my opinion of it. You know, hopefully the numbers will the numbers will be better against Ryan Garcia. We will know that. So you know, I'm just coming out talking about this situation of it, and in this situation of it, Tank ain't looking good as a pay per view star. So this does prove the factor of when Floyd Mayweather's not affiliated, which he did what about eighty thousand last time. When Floyd ain't affiliated, we are seeing that Tank will not sell like Floyd, like he did when he was with Floyd Mayweather. So the fact has been proven now, y'all, right? If it wasn't for Floyd Mayweather, Tank wouldn't be the star he is today. So the people who have all said that, you know, Tank only is a superstar or getting the pay-per-views that he's getting because his name is connected with Floyd Mayweather's, it's became true, y'all. And that's what we have seen with these low pay-per-view numbers from Javante Tank Davis. And once again, even though I'm making this video, I still say thank you, Tank, for the Ryan Garcia fight. But we have to make videos like this because it's only fair that we talk about everything when we talk. This is a man that criticized uh, Terrence Crawford, a guy that just outsold him. And you made a dud with a bad undercard, Tank. That's my opinion of it, y'all. Let me know how y'all feel about it. Please like the video if you support the channel. Please like the video. It don't cost nothing. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. We keep it real deal boxing over here. No bias talk, no racism. We give you the truth. This your boy Easy Work. I'm out.